Welcome back, fellas and lady fellas. Uh, speaking of fellas, or should I say fellows, the day has finally come. I've been talking about it for a couple of videos now. I've been trying to get my hands on a fellowship Medusa. And guess what? I did. It took me like five different tries to get one of these things, but I did it. I finally did it. And, uh... I would actually like to thank someone, a random guy on Facebook. I just happened to join this Balasong Facebook group, and um, I opened up my Facebook, and then boom, there it was. Bam, right here. If I can add it. I, hopefully I can add it. If not, my hand's just here. This guy posts up a thing saying, hey, Fellowship Medusas are available on Knife Center. So I immediately saw it. It was posted up like three minutes before I had seen it. Went over to Knife Center, snagged myself one immediately. Um, big thanks to Knife Center too, because their website is so much easier to use than Arizona Knife Customs. Um, the other times that I was trying to grab the Medusa, I failed on Arizona Knife Customs because the freaking website kept crashing on me. So Knife Center was awesome, went right on, put my information in, boom, had one. It was awesome. Anyways, Got it in, and uh, weirdly enough, this is actually the first battle song I've ever bought brand new, like, from a store. Um, the only other battle song I've bought brand new, which wasn't from a store, it was from a person, uh, my good friend Casey, also known as Turbo Jackalope. I think he was the first person I ever actually bought, like, a brand new knife off of, but usually all of my knives are used. So this was the first one I ever got in new, so that was kind of cool. Um, first knife that I ever came with a receipt. Um, but anyways, you guys don't really care about all that stuff. What you care about is this knife. Why Why does everybody love it so much? Is it worth the hype? Is it is it worth the 450 or the 650 that I've been seeing them going for on uh, secondhand market? And uh, here's my, my solid answer. I've had this thing now for about a week. Um, I've been flipping it for about a week pretty consistently. And uh, man, is this thing awesome. <laughs> Uh, I totally see the hype. I see. I totally understand why people like it so much. Uh, it's it's a work of art. It really is really awesome. Um, just to start out here, this thing is long. Like this is one of the longer ballast songs I have played with. I mean, I don't know. I mean, a lot of you have heard of the Ham Chimera, which is another large ballast song. This is up there. This is like Chimera length. It is channel and it's pinned but it's not the type of pins that you're used to um these are more like kraken pins and actually you know what let's get a little bit closer while i'm talking about this stuff all right so now that we're a little bit closer um here she is here is the medusa very very gorgeous design um simplistic but pretty at the same time i like that it's got these little uh divots on the side here it helps with uh flipping and especially doing things like it's got it on the inside here too um things like the uh choker fan geez couldn't remember it for a second um man is this an awesome knife um so anyway so yeah so getting getting back into it so ooh, cut myself a little bit there um these pins are kind of like kraken pins and actually hold on one more pause. Okay, that was the last pause, I promise. I was just so excited to do this review, I didn't even bring anything in for the video. I was just like, let's start, let's start this review. Anyways, so yeah, so it's just like Kraken pins. Um, so I have this Kraken right here. They're almost identical. Like you can see, it's the exact same type of pin set up. Um, so I think that's my, that is actually my only gripe with this knife. Otherwise, this thing is so cool. Um, so let me just get a couple of valleys here. Um, so you can see kind of from that angle, it's, it's, it's longer than like a replicant. I've got, this isn't like a stock rep. This is, um, this is my stitch steel rep. Oh, actually they're, they're about the same length. I didn't even realize that. These are actually the same. That's kind of cool. So maybe it's not quite as long as I thought it was. Um, but it is, it's a big boy when you're holding it. Like, you can see the pivots don't quite line up. Um, they are, the handles are longer, and the blade, which doesn't really affect its flipping at all. Um, 
when I first opened this thing, I still had the Orca in my hands. So it was kind of nice for me to be able to compare the two because um, to be honest, this is extremely similar to an Orca. Um, I, actually for a while I was even telling people this thing might even just be an Orca killer because you know, Orcas, like I said in the last video, are selling for at least, at the least $1,200. And these at the most are selling for $650. And there are so many similarities in this knife with the Orca. I'm not saying that he like ripped them off or anything. They, they have their own um, distinct differences, clearly. I mean, this one is longer. And uh, I'll throw a couple pictures up here and here. Or I'm just gonna have my hands out again. But I'll throw a couple pictures out, or, or just show you guys a couple pictures of the Orca next to the Medusa. Um, the the Medusa is a little bit longer than the Orca, um, but other than that, they flip very similar. They've got that same channel feel to them, um, the same type of like weight feel to them. Uh, it's got that same like texture on the sides, except the Orca had them on the top. Um, it's got that beautiful like uh, you can see the machining the milling on the blade it's got that on there it's got the same blade steel it's it's got the s35 vn so it's the same blade steel as the orca same handle materials channel titanium um, and when i weighed them both they actually both weighed the same amount this i i can pull out my scale if you want but um this and the orca and actually my scale was off on my last my last video i had to recalibrate it so the Orca actually came in at 4.5 ounces, and when I measured this one, this is also 4.5 ounces. So this weighs the exact same, it's longer, so you know the balance is a little bit different, but when I was flipping the two of them, man, they, they, were, they were very similar. Um, this is just an awesome knife. Overall, this thing is awesome. Came to me wicked sharp. Uh, that tip even is like a little scary to be honest with you. I mean not super scary like not like Han Basilisk scary. That's a crazy tip right there. I love the design of that like Tonto It's got that like sleek Tonto on the side and then it's kind of it's got that really cool curve to it that you see in a lot of really high-end Bala songs so I think that's why it immediately had like a lot of crazy hype to it um, just because it's got that high-end look and after flipping it, it's got that high-end feel. Um, the like I said, the only gripes that I have heard with like from other people and myself are these press-fitted pins. Um, I've heard a couple of people say that theirs fell out after a week of flipping it. That's not the case with me. Clearly, they're still there. Um, you know, and other people haven't had a problem like me. So it's it's really I guess it depends on what you get. But um, the the owner of Fellowship is really cool he's a cool guy i messaged him the other day i uh i had had an issue tightening down one of the screws because it came to me a little bit with a little bit of play um and i was using a t10 i was like man dude i think these things are stripped like i can't get the these to like grab on anything and uh my dumbass like wasn't paying attention and it's actually t15s um luckily i messaged him before i stripped anything but He's a cool guy. He he's uh, he's willing to help you out. So if these for whatever reason were to fall out, I promise you he's going to be willing to help out. Um, also, if you did happen to strip these screws, he does have spares on his website, which helps a lot. So if you strip them for whatever reason, they back out and you lose them. Whatever happens, I don't think they're going to back out. Just saying, if you lose them, he's got extras, and that's always good to know, especially because these are very unique screws, which I thought was really cool. And I think that brings the design kind of together it's it's um it's a very unique look uh, i think w with just like some plain jane screws this thing just wouldn't look as nice as it does um now it is kind of thin it's um you know when you compare it to a rep it's a little bit thin it's like not like crazy thin but it's a little bit thin um you know, here, I'll show you the bottom two. You know, it's like not, it's not a crazy difference, but in hand, um, you can tell it's a little thin, but you know, I think if it was any thicker, it, the balance wouldn't be as good as it is on it. And uh, it's just, I think overall a great knife. It came in with like really good play. Uh, when I say good play, I like none, like no play, no tap at all. 
So like for a production bow song to come in like that, that's like huge because most of the butterfly knives that I get in, well, none of them come in new for me, but pretty much every single one of them I get in, even if it's just, I'm the second owner and the previous owner didn't touch it at all. Almost every production knife I've had come in besides um, squid stuff. Squid stuff always comes in really good, but like I've had so many alpha beasts and, and replicants that just come in with so much play and tap that I end up having to tune it myself, which is why I learned to do that and told you guys how to do it in my first video. Um, so, you know, for it to come in with no play and no tap, that's huge. Um, I like too that it's got such a small nip on the top. Um, it, it, the nip shape and size reminds me a lot of like a Monarch, um, just looking at it. Uh, I don't have a Monarch to compare it to, but that's like, you can see even just here, it's, it's a very similar um, size and shape to it, which I think looks really nice and it doesn't get like in the way when you're flipping it. So, you know, it's nice. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice little touch. Um, now another thing, I always got to do a little bit of ring test. It rings, it rings. I would say just as much, if not more, than the Orca. Um, every single time I was flipping it, my fiance actually thought that my phone was ringing. Uh, and that was the first. She didn't think that when I was flipping the Orca, but every time I was flipping it, she would go, hey, I think your phone's ringing. And I would check every time, and I'm like, no, my phone's not ringing, and then I keep flipping it again. She'd go, no, I definitely hear it. It was this. She was hearing the ring from this and thought that my phone was ringing. So I thought that was really funny. That just shows how much this thing just rings while you're flipping it. Uh, I think overall, this is this is a top tier flipper. I think that if he changed out these pins and made it pinless, similar to what the Orca does, I think this would be among the top tier flippers like the Orca and the Monarch and the EX-10 and all those beautiful high-end expensive knives except these are dropping for 450 um, now there are always chances to grab these things at 450 uh, like he I think he told me he's trying to push them out at least once a week if he can um, he's, he's trying his hardest he's really pushing these out because he knows the demand for them the only thing is is Arizona Knife Customs just really kind of sucks <laughs> um, he likes using them and I, I get it they're nice people and all but their website is just not meant for drops so I had so many problems and when Knife Center had it on I had it it was so quick and easy I had it and got it in so you know try your hardest on the Arizona Knife Customs I know it's a, a headache and I know it's a pain in the butt but try your hardest and if not and you're willing to spend a couple hundred more I don't think it's a bad deal I think even at 650 this is a great knife um, it, you know, if you can get it for the 450, totally do it. But if you are impatient or you don't want to have the headache of going through Arizona Knife Customs or waiting for another Knife Center drop, um, definitely just do it. I would say just do it, grab it, trade it, whatever you can do. Um, I've been seeing them, you know, they've been, it's been like a broad spectrum. Um, secondhand, I've seen them sell as low as 500 and as high as 650. I think anything over 650 is a little much for this knife. Like I said, beautiful knife, great knife, flips great, awesome, almost like neutral feel to it. And actually, let me see if I can get like a balance point here. You can kind of see it. It's like right about there. It's right about there on on this knife so you know it's got a very like neutral balance to it uh so it flips really good because of that um but anyways yes like i was saying it, it's it's very much like a high-end bally for sure uh not worth more than 650 i would say I think even if he bumped these up like himself, these prices to 650, I think that secondhand they wouldn't sell for much more than that because they're just, in my opinion, they're just not worth more than 650, especially with those press fitted pins in there. Um, he's trying his hardest to keep them low. So I really appreciate that because this, this for 450 was such a good grab. I mean, you know, a, a rep people are spending second hand 425 on on you know like especially like a select like this um so you know for 25 dollars more you get yourself this channel beautiful channel bally uh it's big but it, man does it flip cool uh it, it's such a fun flipper 
I've had a really good time flipping this thing since I got it in. If you have a chance to grab one, I, I would recommend grabbing these. Um, I do think, you know, right now they're they're in their prime, so I do think there is a lot of high hype about them, um, which, you know, keep in mind, hype always eventually dies, you know, um, and it goes, it fluctuates sometimes. I don't know if anybody noticed, but like, you know, rep prices, there there's hype on those sometimes because, you know, a new color comes out or something, um, or, or, you know, the, 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 what, what were those, the hybrids. Everybody wanted the hybrids. There was a huge hype on them, but then people try them and then the, you know, the prices dip. So this is one that I, I don't think it's going to dip because people try them and don't like them. Um, I think it'll just dip once more get out, out there. I think, you know, prices might drop a little bit, but I don't think anyone's going to like this knife any less. I think this is a awesome knife that's going to stand out for a while now. Um, just because it's overall look, it's feel, it's quality to it. It's like, it's got that high end quality that everyone's looking for, for a really good price. So would recommend picking one up if you can, uh, great knife. There we go. Went out of focus for a second. Great knife. Um, I don't really know if there's much more to say about it, to be honest. So really quick, before I wrap everything up here, I figured I would just pull up some stats because I'm sure you guys like here and stuff like that. Um, and I just pulled this up actually straight from Fellowship's website. Um, if you guys are interested in looking at his stuff or you want those screws like I was talking about, go to fellowshipblades.com um, and you'll be able to find all that stuff there. Again, that's fellowshipblades.com. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description for you guys so that you have a link to just kind of head to there. Um, but anyways, so it is, uh, it's, he says it's 4.4 ounces. My scale said it was 4.5 there might be a little bit of a difference there, but um, so there's that. Like I said, it was S35VN steel. He's using grade five titanium on these handles. Um, he's got bushings in it, clearly. That's why there's no tap and that beautiful ring, no play. Um, and then he's using phosphorus bronze washers, which is the same type of, um, you, you'll hear that a lot of people, oh, it's got PB, phosphorus bronze. Um, it's the same type of washers that you see in a rep or in a Kraken. So, um, you know, no like super crazy things there. And then, like I said, it's got uh, T15 stainless steel pivots and pivot screws. So T15s on these guys, don't be a dumbass like me and try to use a T10 on it. You will strip it and then you'll end up having to buy uh, new screws on that. Uh, so anyways, yes, this is a great knife. There's a lot of hype around it. Do I think it's overhyped? Maybe, but it's brand new. It's a brand new knife. And I think for the price point and the flippability and the quality of it, I was blown away by this knife. I, I think I totally see why these things sell out in seconds. And I see why they sell out in minutes secondhand when someone throws it up for 650. Uh, totally makes sense. I totally get it. This is going to be a bally that I think is going to be big, and I, and Fellowship is just starting out too. This is his own. This is only his second model, so I am I'm very excited to see where he goes in the future with uh, uh, his other models, or even if he made like a Medusa 2.0. I think it'd be really cool if he did make a Medusa 2.0, if he made it just a tad smaller and uh, made it pinless. I think man that would blow everything already that he's made out of the water i mean he's already outdone himself with this model so definitely keep your eye out uh, fellowship blades check him out on instagram um check out his website i highly recommend it you will not be disappointed it's uh keep keep a, keep an eye on him he's he's a cool guy he's cool to talk to i talked to him at blade show a little bit uh this was before he had made the medusa but I think he's going places. I think he's going to be just as big as like Squid or even BRS in the near future here if he keeps pumping out really good stuff like this. So uh, yeah, definitely check him out. And I really appreciate you guys watching uh, this week's video. Uh, I was able to actually get one out this week, which is cool. And uh, also keep your eye out real soon. We will have a video thanks to Casey. Turbo Jackalope on Instagram. He has sent over some footage for me to put together and uh, we'll have a how-to video on making titanium handles for bare bones. But I'm sure that doesn't just go with bare bones. I'm pretty sure 
what he sent me you could use to make titanium handles for anything. So keep an eye out for that video. That's going to be a really cool video coming out. Uh, as soon as I can get myself to review all the footage and put it together, that will be posted on the channel as well. Um, and also, if any of you guys are interested in lo-fi music, I'm talking like chill, hanging out, whether you're just chilling and studying or chilling and flipping. Um, I just started a lo-fi channel myself. I'm calling it Ezilla. Um, I've had it attached to my YouTube channel here. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that page out for me too. I would, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a subscription or uh, a like or something. I don't know. Or just check it out and tell me what you think about it. Um, I'm just trying to, to make some cool content for all you guys and uh, I like what I do. So I hope that you guys like what I do as well. Anyways, thanks for watching this week's video. If you have any questions about the Medusa or, you know, want to talk to me a little bit, like I said, feel free to DM me anytime at RyanCCC98 on Instagram. I'm more than happy to uh, talk with you about any ballet stuff or knife stuff in general. I, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty quick to respond for the most part. Sometimes I'm busy, but uh, shoot me a message. I'd love to talk about stuff like that with you guys. So feel free, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.